Dubai, United Arab Emirates. One of the most famous women in South Asia is sweeping back onto centre stage. After eight years of exile, Benazir Bhutto is preparing to return to Pakistan. Widely lauded in the West, her reputation in Pakistan is more complicated and, frankly, more sullied. Uh, Her last period in government collapsed under the weight of numerous corruption allegations against her, her husband and her inner circle. She fled Pakistan as charges were being laid. Do you think there's going to be double standards where giving people are free? At her side today is Rayman Malik, a former Pakistan intelligence chief who followed Bhutto into exile and has become one of her key backers and advisers. You say, people say, keep saying a lie again and again and again and again, it becomes true. And now it's our turn to tell the truth again and again so people should know that she was not corrupt. She was never corrupt, involved in corruption cases. I'm concerned, I feel very... Malik has been central in negotiating her return and in negotiating an amnesty from any corruption charges with military ruler President Musharraf. We have not done any deal. We have had negotiations for the transition to democracy. Beyond the party faithful, her arrangement with General Musharraf has been viewed with cynicism. She's portrayed as propping up a failing dictator to secure her own amnesty and share of power. But apparently, they have more in common than many have assumed. So there are similarities. So there are similarities. And moreover, we don't want terrorism. General Musharraf doesn't want terrorism. International community doesn't want terrorism. So this is a very common place thing, which is very, uh, which a common issue. So yeah. in a way, the, the terrorist threat has brought of you course. together. And, brought... And, and I think General Musharraf has realised that uh, this cannot be controlled alone by him mm. and needs a political force. So I don't believe that any true Muslim will make an attack on me. In the face of serious bomb threats, Bhutto's courage is being tested today. But there's a career to revive, promises to be kept, a family name to redeem, and lives to be risked, including her own. Because Islam forbids attacks on women. And Muslims know that if they attack a woman, they will burn in hell. As she heads to the plane, the most notable absences are the British and American politicians who had apparently pledged to travel in with her. It seems they now have other engagements. But there's no shortage of people keen to share this journey with her. Are you anxious uh, entering Karachi in these first few days? Not, well, not anxious. This is our own country. And I'm sure when she goes back, the uh, Almighty Allah will be protecting her. But at the same time, her workers who love her, and they will be present there as a human shield to give protection. And at the same time, I have been confirmed by the government of Pakistan that they have issued the necessary instruction to the provincial government to take care and make foolproof uh, arrangements for this girl. On the tarmac at Dubai, Bhutto's arrival in Pakistan is still a moot point. For half an hour, the captain refuses to take off until the human shields in economy class settle down. A moment silence for liftoff, and the jubilation starts again. Many of the people on this flight aren't just celebrating the return of Benazir Bhutto. They're celebrating their own return from eight or nine years of exile as well. We are coming from London. London. They are coming from all over Europe. They are coming from Arab countries. They are coming from America. They are coming from so many places. But they all belong to Pakistan People's Party and Motarma Ben Nazir Bhutto. So most of you are coming from other countries at the moment? Yes, that's right. Um, uh, We are coming from Scotland. Already there are two million people have gathered in Karachi. They've been travelling for the last three days. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. You, once you get there, once you get there, then you'll, see. You'll, see. then you'll see. Then you'll see. We don't want to say it. You see it. Is it is it safe to have two million people on the streets in Karachi? Yeah. 
I mean, Karachi is a, is a very big city. Yeah. You know, there's more than maybe 11 or 12 or millions of people yeah. are, uh, living there. You know that. Why, why, why do you need the millions? I mean, it could, it could affect her safety. Why the millions? Is it needed for the theatre? It's, it's not about safety. It's about the love. The people love her. The real leaders coming back. Yeah. The flight lurches into turmoil again as Bhutto comes back to thank her workers and supporters and to steal them for the grand tasks ahead. I don't need any questions. I don't. I think you've had enough questions. Excuse me, move please, move. This plane is not just resonating with joy and a sense of mission. We are going to have a fight with all those terrorism. Terrorists, all those it's terrorists overflowing with hubris as well. Anywhere, and all those extreme mullahs, we are going to fight against them. Who are? Well, you, you might be facing them today. Yes, I mean, that's right. I tell you one thing: that Taliban, one mullah, one of their leader, uh, uh, what he said? He said that okay, let Benazir and his her and Troj come. We are waiting for her, and our uh, suicidal bomb attackers will be there. They have threatened us, but she is not scared. We are going to face all those terrorists right into their eyes, right there, and we are going to fight with them, and we are going to eliminate them, that they will not be dead enough to blast a bomb anywhere. After years of anticipating this homecoming, Benazir Bhutto and her party have just 10 hours left before this day will be torn apart. <laughs> Meanwhile, the close security plan swings into action. The VIP lounge gives her an opportunity to quietly compose her thoughts and meet some dignitaries before the day begins. A respite from the crowds and chaos that she'll soon have to face. As the converted bus that will carry her through the streets of Karachi departs, the first 30 metres is the fastest it will travel all day. The Bhutto bus inches its way through the crowd on its 20-kilometre journey to her home. By nightfall, four hours later, it had barely left the airport precinct. In the streets ahead of the convoy, more crowds are gathering to catch a glimpse of Bhutto. It was coming up to 11pm, nine hours since she landed, when I managed to scramble aboard the bus. How much longer before we get there? At least a minimum of eight more hours, eight to nine more hours. At another nine hours? A minimum. A how, minimum. how long does this trip normally take from the airport? Oh, about uh, half an hour. Seriously? Half Now, with less than an hour to go before the first blast, I find an exuberant Rayman Malik. This is called democracy, and this is called the power of the people. She doesn't need any security. People are defending her, and people listen to her, see how can she act, how can she rule the people of Pakistan, and I'm sure when she'll be in power, she will take away all the extremism in the country. There will be no suicide bomber here. There will be no, no such thing because so far, it's been a triumphant return for Benazir Bhutto, although two bombs are now waiting a few hundred metres ahead. Uh, you could have come in in a much quieter fashion. Why, why did you choose to come like this? I wanted to come back in a public way so that the people for whom I'm struggling would have an opportunity to welcome me. I think there's a moderate middle in Pakistan that people are not aware of. And my return enabled the world to see this modern middle which wants democracy.
The message is that it's not just Bhutto returning tonight. With crowds still pouring in, politics itself is returning to Pakistan after eight years of military rule. The doubts about her negotiating with Musharraf seem to be washing away. Do you think that cynicism has gone uh, today? Well, I think people are uh, critical of the People's Party talking to General Musharraf because General Musharraf's popularity ratings are at a low. I think it's the lowest since voting started in the country. So there is criticism of that. But it's important also to find a way to get democracy without bloodshed. The street option the protests always remain, but if we can find a way to move forward without chaos and without bloodshed, then it can only help Pakistan. With the blasts now looming, I began to film the people at the rear left side of the bus in the heart of the strike zone. I've little doubt that most of the men here are now dead. One of them may have danced into the night, but the others volunteer guards and policemen stayed at their posts. It's probably one of these policemen who I think later died in the back of my car. Thank you. Behind the guards came the party faithful. Old and young who wanted to follow the parade and get as close to Bhutto as possible. I'll never have any idea which of these people survived? Uh, this is the great leader of Pakistan. What does it mean for your life, sir? This is the, our life of Pakistan, man. But what does it, it mean to you? She's just a politician. Why? What difference to you? Because they help us with poor people. And she's for the poor. Yeah, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You can hold, if I look like I'm going to fall, you can grab me. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come on. I'm good. I'm good. This side. No, I'm good. We are here to welcome, we are here to welcome uh, Benazir, the very popular leader of the peoples for, uh, for expansion of the democracy in a third world country like Pakistan. These are all Bhutto loyalists, immune to any goading from me. But she's a billionaire. She's got billions of dollars. How does she help the poor people? No. Uh, come on. She's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. We just love her. No problem. It will not go on. We are here just for the Mutama Benazir Bhutto. This will go all night. Are you from Karachi? Yeah. 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 Also Karachi? Yeah. I made my way back to my car. Welcome, 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 Thank you. Fifteen minutes later, the first explosion roared up in front of me. What, what, what was that? What was that? Attack. Attack? attack. What was it, a bomb? It's attack. A bomb's uh, just gone off about 50 yards ahead of us. Um, we don't know what it is yet. I'll just go up to see. I'd seen the blast, but at a distance it seemed that no one wanted it to be true. Within seconds, there'd be no more doubts. I recognized some of the faces among the walking wounded. You're right. But I knew there were hundreds more inside. Stay, 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 stay. Now, 
Just a blast. Yeah, huh? two, two blasts just went off. What? Right. Right. Yeah. 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 The, uh, it's the next day. Uh, the streets of Karachi are, are pretty empty. These are normally uh, pretty teeming uh, boulevards. There's uh, been reports of some cars burning and some uh, stonings uh, uh, going on. Um, Benazir Bhutto is about to make her first uh, press conference uh, since the explosion last night. Bhutto's press conference to offer her condolences and some hope for the path ahead soon descends into a farce. Stop it! All of you stop this, please! This is uh, Pakistan uh, security. Most can't see or hear her, and that may be her fate as she enters the coming election campaign. But we are not prepared to surrender our great nation to the militants. Bhutto is undeterred, but it's unlikely she'll be holding any more large rallies, a vital part of Pakistani politics. She can't appear in public without the risk of losing her own life or the weight of risking the lives of others. At this critical time in Pakistan's history, it will be harder than ever to make herself heard. Have it have important home and met the assumed. Rather than less important, 